Grace, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. It'll be great. Oh, not oh, Louise. Yes, yes. Oh, my dreams have just died. No. Listen, Mia. The family is safe now. Juanita's captured. Be grateful right. for that. Yeah. Yes. You are not safe from me, Pilar. This is only a temporary setback. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe someday. No. Mama, you already have been. He said he can't marry me because he's recommitted to Gwen. So we made vows. And you wouldn't want him to break his vow with God, would you? No. Um, Gwen, I'm happy for you, but don't rub it in. Look, I told you that I would do whatever it takes to keep the man I love. Ethan is my husband, and he always will be. Even if it makes him miserable? Please stay out of this. Look, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I'm not blind. Ethan loves my sister. Everyone knows that. I do. I can't help that. Well, it seems like, Gwen, if you really love Ethan as much as you say, then you should be willing to give him up. Well, he loves me, too. I mean, don't you? I married you. You people are so ridiculous. <laughs> plar, 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 plar. No, no. I'll do this. Why don't you weep, Pilar? You should feel guilty. This tragedy is all your fault. Oh, it does me good to see a Lopez Fitzgerald in pain. Oh, I wish I could kill you all. But it is delicious to know that Teresa will be kept forever away from the man she loves. Oh, I couldn't have dreamt up a better torture myself. <laughs> Give it to me, you little brat! No! I swear you have no manners! Why do you want it so bad? I almost got it finished! Do you remember back when we leaked the truth? about East of the Cherry to the tabloids and then framed Teresa for it? Ah, oh, that is brilliant. We really weren't that brilliant because it eventually Teresa found out the truth. What? Yeah, but nobody believed her and she couldn't prove it. Oh, my God. This thing recorded everything that Gwen and I said. What difference does it matter why I want it, okay? I am the adult, you are the kid, so I win. Now give it to me! Forget it! That you are a man of your word, but can you really do this to us? Can you really turn your back on true love? Don't do this. Even this is our last chance. Do you really have the strength to spend the rest of your life with Gwen when I'm the woman in your heart? Can you live a lie? Are you going to keep us apart forever?
Are you going to stay with her? Yeah, maybe we should find Father Lonigan, because I am sure he will have something to say about this. He married us before God, Ethan. Marriage is a holy sacrament. You can't leave me now. Get it annulled. Teresa, we were already married anyway. This was just a vow renewal ceremony. Annulment doesn't even... Enough, enough. I don't want... Enough. As much as I want to be with you, I can't. She's my wife, and it's, it's my duty to stay. Over my dead body! Oh, don't touch me, you hip squeak! Hey, is that a new wrinkle on your face? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't... Oh, hey, you give me that! No, I'm taking this straight to my mother! Oh, the hell you are! We hurry, sweet people, the true lovers here to save our lives. And harmony. Oh, and harmony. Wasn't our true love enough? Uh, obviously not, dear. No, you're fine. I just need true love to help save life my powers. I need the truest lovers in harmony. Who exactly do you mean? I mean, uh, Teresa and Ethan, or uh, Louise and Fancy, Louise and Sheridan, Louise and... Kay and Miguel. You'll see. Bring me the truest lovers in harmony now. Pumpkin pie. You're my own disintegrating demi -more. Oh, Ashton. That's just what I need. That's just what I want. Young blood. Mm. Oh, you vampire, you. Mais pas de bon enfant. Holy mackerel, Norma. What did you put in the champagne? We've been punked. Maybe you should leave. Gwen, would you hush up for a minute? Teresa, it's going to be okay. True love always comes out in the end, doesn't it? Not this time. He's a man of his word. It's not fair. Teresa and Ethan love each other. You weren't here in the beginning, Fancy. Ethan and Gwen were together long before Teresa came along. Teresa connived and schemed her way to get Ethan just because she wanted him. That's funny, coming from you. Do anything in the name of love, right? It, whatever Gwen and Ethan had, it doesn't compare. Teresa and Ethan are meant to be together. I don't know if I buy that. Well, look, sometimes people make mistakes. I mean, look at you two. For years, you said you were meant to be with Luis, but look at you now, with Antonio. That's different. Is it? You know, you should see your face when you're with him. You're happy, Aunt Sheridan, because you're finally with the man you're meant to love. And that makes you beautiful. Compared to earlier today, you look like a totally different woman. I don't see that anxiety in you that I saw before. Finding your true love has brought you peace. I think Fancy's right. You look absolutely radiant. Ethan, it's enough now. There's nothing left to discuss. Let me speak, okay? Listen to me. You cannot marry her, not after everything that she has done. Oh, here we go then. Ethan, she ruined your life just to keep us apart. She and her mother are the ones who sent that information to the tabloid that exposed your true paternity. She has been lying to you. You'd be head of the empire right now if it weren't for her. Teresa, the file came from your computer. We've all heard this tale before. Well, you're going to hear it again, Gwen, because it is the truth. She has been lying to you, Ethan, for years and years. Then show me the proof. I can't. You burned it. I see. Please tell me you're not going to listen to this again. I'm not. Teresa, we've been over this a zillion times, and there's never been a scrap of proof that I lied to you. Well, there has got to be proof somewhere. And once I find it, Ethan's going to see you for the woman you are. And you get that here. No, I won't. Ethan can never, ever, ever find out what we did, okay? Mm -hmm. 
what did you and Gwen do? <laughs> oh, it's all over for me. You're not really crying, are you? What does it look like? I mean, it's just so sad because everything I've ever done, it's, it's all going to come out. Everything. What's going to come out? <sighs> Grown-ups do some very silly things. Does this have something to do with you playing dress-up with the gardeners? Huh? Uh, no. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. This is much sillier than that. But I guess, I, I guess you're just too smart for me. But she did teach me a lesson, though, and I'm... I'm just gonna have to face the music. <laughs> Look, don't cry. I didn't mean to make you feel so bad. Ha! I got it, you evil old monster! Get that back! Yeah, when pigs fly! There's nothing I can do, Mama. We both know that Gwen is a scheming liar, and after all these years, I don't have any proof. She'll be judged someday. And she'll be punished. Like 50 years from now? She's taken Ethan away from me. Yes. Cry, Teresa. I enjoy seeing those tears flow from your eyes. All right. <laughs> That's enough. Luis, let's get her out of here. No, wait, wait, wait. Juanita is the proof that I need. What? Don't be ridiculous. No, listen to me. Ethan, um... Gwen has been threatening me and my mother for months and months. That's how she managed to keep me away from you. She said that I had to give you up. Otherwise, she would contact Juanita, tell Juanita where we live, so that Juanita would leave Mexico to come here and kill my entire family. Teresa, come on. That's impossible. Well, it's the truth. Juanita, please, tell everyone the truth. Tell them what Gwen did. Help you? You really are an absurd little girl. Why would I help you? What are we doing here? I mean, things are just heating up. Yeah, well, things are heating up in here, too. So, come and have a look in the bowl. Oh. Whoa, looks hot. What is it? A fondue party? I could eat. Oh, you twit. It's a volcano. And it's erupting. I told you this town was doomed, didn't I? The Book of Disasters predicted it all. The sea is going to claim its own. And, and lava is going to overrun harmony and flow into the sea, bringing death and fire and hailstrom to this town and everyone in it. You put up with her. She's the most depressing woman I've ever met. She has her moment. Oh, cooking. I guess harmony is a goner. But our motel room is miles from here, so send us back there if you wouldn't mind, because we have some unfinished business. <laughs> no, we need your help. What, what do you expect us to do about a volcano? I mean, I'm strong, but not that strong. My powers aren't strong enough to stop the volcano all on my own, but maybe if I can channel the force of true love, I can get a big enough boost to save harmony. About you two here because your love for each other is so strong. Oh, our love. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to cry. Did you hear that? And touched. That's what I am touched. To the power of true love. It burns. Two white hot flames as two souls yearn for each other. What do we care if the world judges us? What do we care if the world doesn't understand? Listen, I, I heard plenty of all that at your so-called wedding. We get the picture. <gasps> Normie, they need us. I knew our love was going to make a difference in the world someday. Okay, Adora, we're in. <laughs> all right, everybody join hands. Okay, I need you all to focus on all the love you have. Feel the love you have for each other and the love you have for your children. I don't have a child. Uh, well, think of your axle. Uh, think of your daddy's skull. Ooh. Focus, people. Feel the love. 
But a smidgen isn't going to be enough if we're all buried under a pile of lava. Hey, if we don't get out of this, I love you, honey bun. I love you too, Normie. I love you, Julia. I adore you, darling. I love you, Mummy. Oh, well, all right. I love you too, Indora. I love you, sweetheart. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Oh, look at her go! Give it back! You lose, kiddo. What? Ah! Please tell the truth. Tell everyone that it was Gwen and Rebecca who told you where to find us. Why would I help you, Teresa? You deserve a life of pain. No, no, wait. Why would you help Gwen and Rebecca? You, you should hear the things that they say about you. Did, did you know they don't like Mexicans? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They laugh at you behind your back. Those lip... Do not try to trick me, Teresa. If you're smart, you will tell the truth. Things are going to go much better for you if you cooperate with the authorities. The only way I will get out of jail is if I bribe my way out. Well, that's not going to happen. Care to wager on that? We'll make sure that you serve your time as comfortably as possible in the most modern prisons. No jail can hold me. You'll go to prison for the rest of your life. But if you help Teresa, I promise to put a good word in for you and, uh, and see if they'll treat you fairly. Okay, okay, wait a second here. What is wrong with you? She's a crazed murderer. She'll say whatever she wants to to get a better prison deal. A crazed murderer? How dare you? Very well. I will tell you what I know. Yes, I spoke to Gwen. I can't even help my daughter. The lava isn't stopping. Now who's being negative? Sorry, hon. He's right. What? Oh. 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 Even with all of you here to support me, I'm still not strong enough. When you're fighting overwhelming evil and a prophecy of doom, it may be impossible to defeat. Don't say that. Well, well, what then? Any bright ideas? We could make some snacks. Mommy, we need Kay. No. She, her powers are strong. But they are totally uncontrolled. Oh, don't worry, Kat. Come on, no more than let Kay bring her hottie husband to the party. Well, come on. What's the worst that could happen? Well, if, if Kay's powers go kaflooey, well, you remember how Superman's home planet Krypton was destroyed? Oh. Oh, is right. We have to risk it, Mommy. This is life and death. Kay would want to help. If we don't stop Harmony from being obliterated, her and everyone she loves will be buried under lava. <sighs> sisters in magic, sisters in power. Oh, all well, right, get on with it then. Tell you. What the? Where'd Cammy go? Right there. Finish with magic. Don't look at me. Tabitha, you scared the daylights out of me. Can you give me a little warning next time? Tabitha, you did this? I did not. I'm not even a witch anymore. 
Uh, can we save the explanations for later? This is an emergency. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, you think it is, Kay? It's a volcano, and it's erupting, and it's going to engulf harmony. Oh, my God. Kay, we need your help. The disaster that the book foretold turns out to be a volcano that's going to destroy all of harmony. Oh, my God. That's, that's why all those earthquakes were happening. But I thought that there was no way to stop this from happening. Well, there must be a way. And if we work together, we can, we can try to save everyone. Oh, What's happening now? Oh, bloody hell! Oh, the volcano's going to erupt right here in the living room! Oh, look at the Krakatoa! Oh, oh, it is Krakatoa! Oh, East of Harmony! Oh, we gotta get out of here! I don't want to die before our honeymoon! tell you, Ethan, Gwen is in cahoots with Juanita. She is the reason I was almost killed. Is it true? Did you expose Pilar's family or what? How can you even think that I would do something like that? Ethan, we can be together now. Um, she lied to you. She renewed her vows while keeping secrets from you, which means her vows aren't valid. Come on, hold on. Okay. Is it true, Gwen? It's true. Oh, you are such a little fool, Teresa. Yes, I spoke with Gwen when I was disguised as a nun. I never said she turned Pilar into me. I have no idea who did that. You are lying! Prove it. That's it. All right, you had your chance. I'm taking you in so you can rot in Mexico's worst prison for the rest of your life. So I will be out of a Mexican prison in a day. Oh, I will be back, Pilar. You better put your guard up because I am coming for you. I want your blood! She's a barrel of laughs. Then you, you have to believe me. She's making this up. No, oh, no, she's not. My daughter's telling the truth, Gwen. Really, Pilar, then where's the proof? Because my husband is not going to believe this nonsense without any proof. So where is it? Ethan. Teresa, I'm sorry. Don't you think we've listened to enough of her nonsense? You have to believe me, Ethan. Gwen has been keeping me from you for months and months. She was blackmailing me. With what? How could she? There's something I need to tell you. Something I should have told you a long time ago. When I finally got the courage to tell you, Gwen wouldn't let me. She said if I did, she would contact Juanita, and Juanita would find out where we lived, and she would come here and kill us all. Okay. Okay, I mean, I've heard enough of these lies. Hold on. Let it finish. There's no reason why I can't tell you the truth right now. It's the truth about little Ethan. You come back here! I will ask you this to my mom! Oh, you little tattletale! You're gonna ruin everything! How did you save us? Oh, oh, look! Look! The force field! That's a force field? Boy, they didn't look like that on Star Trek. Oh, Star Trek. Oh, I used to have the biggest crush on Lieutenant Ahura. <gasps> didn't you love it when she sang? <gasps> girls this is only a temporary fix to, to keep the lava out of the house 
Does anybody have a yen for popcorn? Okay. We need your help to stop the volcano. Join hands with Indora because your magical powers combined with ours is our only hope. We go. Go ahead, Kate. Maybe magic can do some good for a change. <laughs> oh, Durwood finally gets it. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. We have to save Harmony. You better hurry. I think she's going to blow. What about little Ethan? It's something I've known since we were in Rome. I learned it from JT. I should have told you sooner. I just I made a lot of mistakes. Teresa? What do you want to tell me? It's just going to be another lie. You're not going to stop me this time. Little Ethan is your biological son. No, he's not. Julian isn't the father. Do you remember that night on the beach, you know? First time? It's true. It's my son. He's my son. You knew all this time? You, and you kept the truth from me all this time? It's true, Ethan. She has tried to tell you so many times. She did. Everything Teresa has ever done has been out of her love for you. She just kept making a lot of mistakes. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You all knew? I should have told you sooner, Ethan. So little Ethan is Ethan's son, and you just never told him. Not as the liar, Gwen. You wouldn't let me tell him. You said if I did, you would bring Juanita to Harmony to kill my family, including the children. Teresa, that is absurd. You tried to tell me. You tried to tell me before the night in the hospital when I woke up from a coma, didn't you? You were talking about a son. It wasn't Jonathan, was it? I know it hurts to realize you've been kept from the truth, even. I didn't have a choice. Can you forgive me? What did you do? Oh, Indora, sweet pea, is this it? Is this goodbye? Don't leave me, Mummy. Oh, no, it's me, isn't it? I've killed them all. Wow. They're gone. We're safe. We're safe. Ah, even the kitty cat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Normie, sweet thing. Look, we ended up in a church today after all. <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh, no. Well, it sounds like your place going up. I'm like about my aunt's. Where's my daughter? Where's Indora? Where's Kay? Where is Indora? What do you think the dark side taken? Has the dark side taken Kay and Indora? You have every right to be angry. I should have just told you the truth about little Ethan that first night you were home. Ethan. 
best news of my life. Well, Ethan's my son. I forgive you. I forgive you for everything. I will not let him go. I won't. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. You're just making everything right. You're not going to be glad and we're not going to be a family with Jamie and Ethan. Ethan has a family with me and Jonathan. What? Let me talk to you for a second. Oops, I know that this cannot be easy for you, but you can't honestly think that you're going to keep Ethan and Teresa apart. You know, Luis, you just watch me. Your lies. <laughs> That's the only reason Ethan married you. You know how sick and tired I am of hearing about all of my lies, Pilar? How about all of your daughter's lies? How about all the sneaky, conniving little plots that she set in motion behind Ethan's back? Why don't you think back a little bit? Think back to the first time she lost Ethan. What'd she do? She followed Julian down to Bermuda and slept with him. You know, I heard that. I don't know if I did or if I didn't. Because you were too drunk. Because I made her. a mistake, Gwen. And you know what? The only evidence that I slept with Julian was my pregnancy. But now that everyone knows the truth, that Ethan is little Ethan's father, maybe I didn't sleep with him. And maybe you did. Then what else did you do, Teresa? You married Alistair. You tried to kill me. I don't know how many times. What, what about what you did to my surrogate? I mean, I can go on and on because you are no angel, so stop pretending to be. My lies, Gwen, are absolutely nothing. Nothing compared to yours. If Ethan knew every single thing that you have done to destroy our relationship, he never would have married you. You would disgust him. Show me the proof. Again, I ask to see it. I'm sorry, Ethan. Have you seen any proof that I've lied to you? No, I haven't. Ethan, I am the only person in this world who loves you and respects you enough to be perfectly honest with you and who loves you enough to put your needs ahead of mine, which is why you married me, which is why you were going to stay married to me. You think I should be hurt? Never gonna see you leaving everybody. You have to see what's on this camera. I'm not sure what's on this video, but you guys need to watch it. Rebecca was trying to beat me up from fixing it and bringing it down here to me. Oh no, he can't have fixed it. He'll ruin everything. Rebecca? But the kid is just exaggerating like his mother. We were just playing keep away with the camera. Hey, Ethan, were you able to fix the camera? I think so. The camera Rebecca was trying to keep from us. We have got to get that camera. It recorded everything we said in the rectory. Yeah. Everything you were talking about. You and your big mouth. Ethan, can we go? I would love to start our honeymoon. I think we should see what's on the camera. Mom, you're not wearing your disguise. No. So everyone here knows you're alive. Yep. Juanita's been arrested, so we are all safe. <laughs> Give it back! What are you doing, Rebecca? If Kay and Endora were captured by the dark side, oh, I can't even think about it without shuddering. Please, no. All I can remember about that place is constant pain. And the food was terrible! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Only two dastardly villains would leave their family and friends in head from the hills. Do you think that the dark side would want to recapture us too? Ooh, never again. By the way, are these people our friends? Well, you know that Tabby. She was always a piece of work. <laughs> and we don't get any respect from these kids. And there's only one gay bar in this burg, and they won't let us sing. Oh. Exit! Stage left! Good job, everybody! Right into the bar! Oh, those cowards! Your spell didn't work! The lava is here, it's all around us. We're gonna die! Hey, what? Fine. What are you 
having all these earthquakes. Sam, did you find out what was going on when you took Juanita into jail? No, look, something bad is going on. The phones, the internet links are down, and there's a strange light coming from on top of the Mount Harmony. I don't really care what it is, Ethan. We should be on our honeymoon. Son, why do you think I need to know what's on this tape? Son? I told him everything. You don't have to call him Uncle Ethan anymore. Dad. Come here. Come here. Hey. It's amazing. All this time I thought you were my son. I felt like you were my son and you are my son. I love you, buddy. I love you too. Just stand here. We've got to do something to get Kane and Dora back. Any suggestions, Miguel? I don't have my powers anymore. That's right. We have to do something to find Dora. <sighs> Where have you been? Oh, and Dora, sweetie. Oh, your father and I have been so worried about you. You're not going to believe this. We've been to heaven. What do you mean, the bad place? We know how to stop the disaster. Timmy told us how to save Harmony. Yeah? Aren't you? Your Uncle Antonio. What? <laughs> yes, little Ethan, another miracle. Um, can we uh, check out this video, Pete? You know, son, um, why did you want me to see what was on this tape? I heard Gwen saying something. She was saying, you think you never know all the horrible things we've done. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. This, this, this could be it, Ethan. This could be the proof that Gwen has been lying to you. That's why Rebecca was trying to steal it from you, right? It's my camera. Rebecca took it from me earlier. I had to chase her down. Yeah, and I got into a fight with her about it. She tried to break it then. Excuse me, where were you two going? Ethan, I just really want to leave. I mean, can we please go? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm your honeymoon, Ethan. I mean, just think about what the lights await you. <laughs> yeah, no one's going anywhere until I find out what's on this tape. What did Timmy say I have to do to save Harmony? You have to get baptized. Me baptized? Never! You two wishes are gonna get exactly what you deserve. And if they find out what we did, we are finished. Kaput.